Hey guys and welcome to my channel and this video this is again one more full misty fall painting and today we will be painting a bridge that is disappearing in the fog and I did do my sketch earlier on just a printing paper then trace it onto watercolor paper sketch is also available for download from my website there is a link in the description box so go ahead and download it for yourself I will also be using this Centenaire watercolor paper. This is 300 GSM or 140 pounds, 23 by 31 centimeters or 9 by 12 and 1 eighth of an inch. It is also a cold press paper and 100% cotton from a block of paper. So I did not stretch it. And if you're using single sheet of paper, I do recommend you stretching it because this one is going to be painted wet on wet and we're going to use a lot of water. So to prevent the warping. I started with prevetting the entire paper and then mixed in a little bit of black and a yellow color and those are basically all the colors we will be using for this painting. I started with painting a very light wash in the background and then with the tip of my brush I've just tapped in a little bit of the paint in the place where the buildings are further away in the distance in the fog just to give the notion that there is something there in that fog. The lower part where the river is going to be I did want it to be a little bit more visible and a little bit more pigmented so there is where I added a little bit more of the paint. Also while the paint is still wet I'm just painting in the columns because I do want that paint to bleed slightly and to create a very very soft edges. I don't want the edges of the columns to be too harsh so later on we will be adding a little bit more of the paint there but I do want that also a very very soft to transition and to make it look like there is some fog and some little bit play of the shadows and the lights. I'm just going back and forward doing the details where I think I'm adding a little bit more of the paint and where I think it's needed I'm picking up a little bit of the paint just with my brush that I have rinsed in clean water. I left it to dry completely and as you can see it's a very very light wash right now you can barely see. It is a little bit more visible from where I'm standing but a little bit less on the camera. So now I'm just painting in the details and as you can see on the finished piece that's the lower part of the bridge and the columns. I do want them to be a little bit darker so I have painted those this time. I'm using very harsh lines, no soft lines so just we don't want this to be soft. We do want those lines to be very very harsh. For the columns, again using the same colors, I've painted them to be a little bit more darker and pigmented on the right side and a little bit lighter on the left side and that is how I'm just adding a little bit of the paint and then softening it going onto the left side with a lighter wash. Also at the bottom I do want the I don't want to finish to be very soft. I don't want a harsh line so I'm just adding the paint and then with rinsing my brush and just softening that edge with a clean water. Also again we are painting the columns in the way that the one nearest to us is the darkest and the one that is further away and a little bit more in the fog not very visible is of course the lightest. Going back and forward now, adding a little bit more of the details, adding some pigment here and there where I see it's a little bit more of the paint needed and just also picking up where I think I should reduce a little, little bit of the pigment. Again, a little bit more details, this time with this a liner brush from Levinson paint brushes. I'm just painting in the edges of the bridge. Upper part of the bridge again painting a little bit darker on the right side and a little bit lighter on the left. So I started with the most paint in my brush then just going on the other side I'm rinsing it slightly drying it onto my paper towel and just creating the impression of lighter wash of just gradient color from one side to another. 
and now again a little bit more of the paint just beneath the bridge I just noticed that it was too light so I decided to add a little bit more of the pigment there and also I will be adding a little bit more of the pigment to the columns and to that upper part of the bridge also now with this ink pen I decided to do a little bit more of the details, some of the lines, because I do want lines to be broken. So that is how I will create the impression of the broken lines later on when I add a little bit of the watercolor on top. There will be some parts that are going to be a little bit more visible from the ink pen and some parts that are going to be a little bit less visible. So just be careful, don't, do, don't press too hard and make one straight line. We do want that line to be slightly broken, so just go slightly on the top of the paper with your ink pen. Now adding those details also with a liner brush, those lines, wires actually that are on top of our bridge. Same thing on the right side, they are a little bit more visible, darker, and on the left side, a little bit less visible from the fog. Now connecting the other side of the bridge, doing one tilted line. A little bit more of the details. I don't want really my bridge to be bare. I do want it to have some details, even though most of the details are not visible from the fog. Just always keep in mind when you're doing your details, if you choose to do even more details than I am doing, just keep in mind that all of those details should be painted a little bit darker on the right side and a little bit lighter on the left side. Now just emphasize a little bit that those buildings or trees, whatever you like to paint in the background and also the river, the lines of the river. But again, we don't want them to be harsh. We do want those lines also to be just barely visible and soft. One more building at the right side. And also I decided to do a few details again with the ink pen. Just adding some lines and the details to my columns, to the bridge, wherever I see fit. Again, those lines are not just one harsh and full line, but they're a little bit broken, sketchy, just to create some looseness to your painting. And now with this white oil pencil, I'm just adding a little bit more of the details and this time a little bit of the highlights. You can definitely do this also with a white gouache. And with that, I'll be finishing off this painting and this video. I hope you guys like it. You enjoyed this fall series. We're done with that. On Friday is October 1st. So we are going to be starting with our Inktober. I hope you're ready for that and you are joining me. And if you do like this video or this series of fall paintings, please hit the like button, share it and comment. And if you haven't still, please do subscribe to my channel. That would really mean a lot to me. 
And guys, thank you, thank you so much for all your support, for watching, and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye!